Hello, boys and girls. It's me, Mrs. Crawford, and I have one of my favorite books to read aloud to kids, The Book with No Pictures. If you've been in my class before, you know it's one of my favorites. So, ready? The Book with No Pictures. It really does have no pictures, but watch and listen. It's by B.J. Novak. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. That's true. Whatever's on the page, I have to read to you. Anything that's there, I have to read. No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, Bark! Wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Arf. Wait a second, what? That isn't the kind of word I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says. Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Oh, hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. That's not true. I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. And I am a robot monkey. What? Oh, this is making me say all these silly things. And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading it, please? No, you're gonna make me keep reading it? Oh goodness, what else am I gonna have to say? And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a song? Oh goodness gracious, have you heard Mrs. Crawford sing? Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off of the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it yet? No, you're gonna make me keep reading? There are more pages. I have to read the rest. Should I keep going? I really don't want to. It's making me say all these ridiculously silly things. <sighs> all right, I'll keep going. My only friend in the world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. And also the kid I'm reading this to is the best kid ever in the history of the whole entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid too, because this kid chose this book, even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly sounds like, oh gosh, do I have to keep going? Are you gonna make me say the silly sounds? All right, here I go. Oh goodness. Oh no, here it comes. Ah, glurk, gawk, wacko, my grump, adieu, ay, 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 brug, 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 oh, ee, oh, blaggity, blaggity, gibbity, gobbity, gobbity, gibbity, beep, bop, boop, bop, bop, doogie face. I didn't want to say those things. Oh my goodness. Do I have to keep going? You're gonna make me? Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it's completely and utterly preposterous. It's so ridiculous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures, please because this is just too ridiculous to read out loud. The end. Bonk! Oh, I didn't want to say that. That really is the end. It's the book with no pictures, and it's the book that makes adults say silly things to kids. Did you like it? Take care, friends. Bye.